Monday afternoon, Austin Northcott knew something was wrong in his mid city neighborhood. I heard screaming like a really like a like you're about to die sort of scream, like one you don't hear. It's just not, no, not a normal scream. Those screams were from a 73 year old woman across the street who police say was carjacked and dragged to death by her own SUV. Witnesses say it happened when a vehicle pulled up next to her parked SUV on North Scott Street. It's just uh, heartbreaking to see that. Witnesses say the woman was caught in her seatbelt and dragged as her SUV sped off on Bienville Avenue, just steps away from Mark and Leanne Mascar's front door. I just started screaming and running because I just wanted to to get this person from this car. And if I could if I could do that, I could I could help this person. Police say the woman's arm eventually detached from her body on North Pierce Street, freeing her from the SUV. Neighbors ran over to try and help. She was still breathing. She was uh, very slowly breathing. I tried to call 911. Unfortunately, the phone rang for over four minutes and 45 seconds before I hung up from 911. Todd Ecker says someone eventually got through. Mascar says it took 10 to 15 minutes for paramedics to get there. She's still breathing, I could feel a pulse. And the anger was like, where the hell is the ambulance? You know, we, we were there and I kept hearing loads of police cars turn up and no ambulance. When it did, paramedics pronounced the woman dead, leaving folks in this neighborhood horrified and police searching for four suspects. They didn't just see the car, they murdered someone today. Yeah, I mean, it's Monday at one o'clock in the afternoon. It's not, everybody's out getting lunch, not worried about, you know, whether or not they're gonna live or not. It was one of the most grotesque, surreal, horrific things I've ever seen. Complete reckless disabandon, no regard for human life. About 15 blocks away, on the corner of Dumaine and North Dupree, Police found the SUV abandoned in the Bayou St. John neighborhood. Two crime scenes adding to a growing list of deadly violence in New Orleans. In the end, it's just the, the criminals that are that are ruining it for everyone who lives here. There is something really wrong when when you have to walk outside your house and and you're and and that is part of your day that some woman is getting dragged down the street. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.